Hello everybody, welcome to the first game of the World Championship. We've got a Group D matchup, Zerpils with his Skaven, up against Slade Black Mage with his Humans. Um, somebody won the toss, unfortunately, you know, if you don't get there in time, you don't see who won the toss. But I imagine that Zerpils would want to kick with Skaven. And... Yeah, especially in the rain, right? Yeah, the humans wouldn't choose to receive in the rain, so I'm sure Zerpels won the toss and chose to kick. Uh, a very standard Skaven roster. It's very similar to Olivier Dulax. He's benching the leader thrower. He's got a guard blitzer, a juggernaut rat ogre, and one skill on each of the gutters. The usual, the usual suite, a block one, a wrestle one, a sidestep for the one turn, and a strip ball. Oh, Iron Man plus AV for somebody. Catcher. That's quite nice actually, isn't it? Turn makes him AV9 plus. That's uh, pretty nice how we how the catchers were in Blood Bowl 2, funnily enough. And I quite I quite like Slave Black Major's build here. He's got five guard. I, I like it. it's just more guard, right? Lots, lots of people take a block. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Rats versus humans. Is there any real difference between them besides the tendency to spend insane amounts of time watching a name commentary of children's games? <laughs> Incredible. Thanks very much, Squirrel Dude. Staying fantastic for 87 glorious months. Unbelievable. Oh, dear. You misclicked humans. A lot of people like humans, right? They they, they get a they get a bit of everything, right? They're they're quite they're quite speedy and they've got some guard to fight the bash teams. Of course, versus bash teams they're they tend to be a little bit out of their depth. But you know, we've seen people do, you know, amazing things versus bash teams with with humans. But um I mean this is their niche, right? Against against I want to say agility teams, you know, the faster teams. Teams that aren't bash teams, the humans get to be the bash team. You know, almost to the extent that orcs would be, but with a lot of movement. So they actually get to use the movement advantage in these matchups. Just fouls a random... Oh, a blitzer. <laughs> okay. Now, do you know what? Shall we put these? I don't know what to do about the circles. M maybe try like the circles on for the first couple of turns. So he blitzed him back into a big assist foul, and then KO'd him. So that was quite a nice little thing. He's got thirteen players, so he's got the one turn himself with his halfling. And uh, yeah, so a pretty successful first turn. <laughs> yeah. For Slade Black Mage. I don't know if that means. He's, he's, do you think he's a fan of Slade the Band? Could be. So Slade Black Mage qualified from PC. He's American and he qualified through TRBBL. Season 2 with Dwarves. It's taking humans because you can't really take Dwarves, can you? <laughs> Zerpils qualified from PlayStation, is, is, is German. And qualified from the Road to the World Championship, Blood and Tears League. Uh, with Skaven. And then he's using Skaven in the cup. So there you go. Oh my goodness. Instantly goes for a 3 plus dodge. Uses dodge, gets the assist. Wow, this is rowdy. This is very rowdy. <laughs> Starting NFL halftime. Used a lot of time here. And this is a 4 plus dodge. Makes it. No problem. 
Oh my goodness. This is very rowdy. <laughs> this is very rowdy. And then dodges with this guy. Oh, double GFI. You pops a reroll in. Gets the pal. Balls on the floor. Could just dodge straight through the middle, seeing as he's been going through either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not really. Wow, I mean, this is a problem for the humans. Three players in the backfield. Did let that guy out the side. Maybe should have... You know, this guy after he blitzed, maybe should have retreated, right? That would have showed that up. Wow. Man, he really liked the dodges, didn't he? This was a lot of dodging. Very aggressive start from Zerpils. Very aggressive. Now, I, this is going to be difficult for the humans to deal with, honestly. Though I guess these guys aren't based, so... Well, that's who I would have picked it up with. I certainly attempted to. You could have, like, chained him free, right? Could have chained this guy free to pick it up with him. Now he's got to be worried about the strip. I guess the stripper is prone all the way over here. Oh, man. No, just a push would have been a disaster there. Would have, should have maybe, you know, done the GFIs to blitz from a better angle. Out and a removal. Okay, I don't know who's picking up now. <laughs> I guess this blitzer, right? Flip me. Really needs to get these guys. I hate moving this guy up here. The, everything needs to come back and defend. You're on the verge of losing versus rats. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Does does he not realise there's rats down? What are you, what are you doing? Oh no! Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? That was like, oh my goodness! There is a player here who can support. There's the rat ogre here. There's another gutter, there's a gutter, there's two gutters right here. And he just decided to leave the ball on the ground. I know it's in a tackle zone, and I know it's raining, but like... Dude, this is rats. This blitzer had to come back and get the ball. But, no problem. What do I know? Instant snakes. Instant <laughs> Instant snake eyes, and uh, all of a sudden, no problem. Everything's completely fine. <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah, two minute delay, Steve. Yeah, I could have written that, couldn't I? Because you'll only hear in two. Wow. That was, that was so wild to do a five-man foul. Like, he's completely split his team in half. And then he was saved, honestly, not only by the snakes, but also no safe moves first, right? The rat ogre could have moved down. The guard could have moved down. And uh, that lack of safe moves first is... He's still blitzing up here. I, I don't know why he's not concerned about gutter runners in his backfield. <laughs> Unconcerned. Unconcerned by gutters in his backfield is Slade Black Mage.
Why, why bother running your entire team back to defend when you can just hope nothing fails? Right. Another, another chance for the rats now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> it's funny the delay here I'm seeing the delay and seeing the reactions <laughs> So yeah, now, will we see some safe moves first from Zerpels? Maybe. The rogue is like relatively safe, right, with Juggernaut. Yeah, so he does go for the, the rogue blitz. And then that lets him touch the catcher, I think. No, one short. But at least he gets into the general vicinity of where he wants to be, which is more than can be said for half of the human team. <laughs> yeah, this this entire half of the human team are quite uh, four players in a square. So you know, you you want to what you want to do is you want to have like you know your team controlling space, right? And, you know, if you're new to Blood Bowl, if you click on players, they've got tackle zones. Oh, they're not apparently displayed here. Maybe that's my settings. So every square around them, you know, they control to an extent. So what you really don't want is four players in a square, unless there's a very good reason. And, uh, yeah, so these four here, these two here, this is a very small area to have six players. Now, obviously, the smallest you can have four in. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, if this guy dodges away, then he can stand there and completely run them, completely cut these guys off. But he doesn't, he just punches. I mean, punching is fair. Punching is fair. He also could have maybe just done a 1D punch with him and then try to move this guy. Picks up the ball in the rain, casual four plus. He could 3 2 2 2 2 to just score and win. Yep, so it's not a win, <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, wow, wow, what a start! What a start! Whew. Flip me. Flip me. Welcome to the World Cup. What a what a great start. What a, what a wild start. <laughs> Slade Black Mage. Um, yep, just really did not care about protecting the ball versus Skaven in the rain. That was a choice. Um, he now finds himself 1-0 down. And funnily enough, now he's kind of got to play like that more, right? Because now he has to he has to kill loads of rats, otherwise he's just gonna lose. So now he really does have to just maximize hits and removals as much as humanly possible. He has to start slaughtering these Skaven. Because if he doesn't, um, he's in a lot of trouble. As a T for tackle zones. Okay, two, two minutes later. I've got that. No. Maybe I just don't have them. There we go. 
Right, so there you go. So you can see there, there's the tackle zone. Two minutes later, thank you very much, Big Chi Chi. So there, you can see the tackle zone. So, you know, like making a network of tackle zones and stuff and a screen so that, you know, you're controlling more uh, more area of the pitch is what you want to do. Stop the escape and getting into your backfield. Stopping them, like a lot of people will say, you know, about covering the ball and stuff when you're going for a pickup. A lot of the time, you just want to stop them getting into your backfield, right? Like stop them getting through it all is, uh, is generally preferable. Um, okay, we're just going for a big foul again here. I'm sure. Yeah, so this kind of thing, right? Like this covering the ball pickup. Like it's good to have somebody there a lot of the time, but it's also good to, you know, just stop them breaking through. Now, there was a lot of dice for Zerples to break through, to be fair, um, in the first drive. He was doing a lot of three plus and four plus dodges around the sides. But, um,. Fouls the stun guy and gets sent off. So fouling the stun guy isn't so bad, right? Because it's high quality. Like, yes, he could have fouled this guy who's got three assists instead of two, and his armor eight plus instead of armor nine plus. But and this guy is already stunned. But it is a higher quality foul, and he really has to get lucky now. So I honestly don't hate that foul, even though it it doesn't actually look the best. It is. Uh, He's at the. I think he's already at the stage where he has to get lucky now to win this. Oh yeah, the greasy cleats went to the went to the strip bowler. I didn't mean to notice that. Oh, here we go. The rat ogre bites a line rat. Down. And this makes it a 2 plus to get all the rat, the other rats through. Well, I would say the other rats, the uh, gutter runners. Oh, oh goodness. Right, let's not get it. Yeah, so you can see there that one tackle zone. I guess it's quite good to turn the tackle the tackle zones on like that. So that's just a straight 2 plus for the, skip, for the gutter runners. So that can be all four gutter runners back through this gap. So, yeah, that's... Uh, this could be pr problematic for Slade Black Mage again. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I don't want to say interesting too much, but this is interesting, isn't it? Wow. Um, yeah, completely unsupported carrier on his own. He had this guy, see? So this guy that he put for the pickup maybe should have stood there. So if that's where he wanted to go afterwards, he could have moved up behind him, right? Like... Okay, I like that. By moving, you just didn't have to make that 2+, plus, and the 2+, plus could have failed. It would have been okay stood here, but I think it's completely fine not to stand. I, I think I would have preferred him here, but obviously he seemed some kind of way out up there and wants to shut it down. It does mean that the obvious way up the field is more up this side now, but... There are the catches here as well, isn't there? So maybe the catcher. Try to get at the catcher here. Run away. Gets the right over down. You could blitz this gutter. Dodge out pass. Run away. You can actually out distance the stripper. Or run along there and then screen. Oh. Hello, Wotan. Um, 
two minutes into the future you can hear this. Uh, Slade Black Mage is an American who qualified for PC TRBBL. Uh, Zerpils is a German who qualified for PlayStation through Blood and Tears. Yep, lead. Okay, he's blitzing with the ball, 3D. That, that's the best way to like, to like, whoa. This is the best way to move the ball without having to dodge, right? If you blitzed, if you blitzed one of the other gutters out of the way, then you wouldn't be able to um, move the ball carry without dodging. Though you've got five rerolls, so maybe that could have, you know, ended up in a better spot than instantly two diced. <laughs> <laughs> because at the moment we have an instant two dice blitz from a blitz. <laughs> well, not instant. He might he might uh, fail a gutter runner dodge, but you can't really bank on your opponent failing gutter runner dodges. So still in a lot of trouble, Slade Black Mage. Oh, dodge triggers. He does make the dodge. He gets the pow. Again, we could have we could have made safe moves first, right? Could have uh, could have stood up the rat ogre first so that it wouldn't bite anybody, and then these two. He catches the ball. That may have been the worst thing for him, in a way, because otherwise a good runner could have got it. But he can, uh, with a GFI there, rush, sorry, rush, he can now have a completely safe ball, so no, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, rolls a one. He uses dodge and fails, double ones. That's two snake eyes you've had already with these Skaven. <laughs> wow. What a, what a completely wild game already. Absolutely wild game already. Get the guard in here. And then blitz on 2D instantly. to reroll. It's got five. I would have thought you'd have, you know, maybe he's been a bit more adventurous with so many rerolls, like, you know, maybe dodging with a thrower and passing it to the catcher and stuff, like, you know, making GFIs to get safe, things like this. Um, he's been pretty, like, you know, positionally, he, he did some things that I didn't agree with, but um, he didn't even, like, you know, push his luck kind of doing them. Which is maybe what you'd expect with five rerolls versus gaming. Yeah, Skaven can always snake. Like you shouldn't plan on them ever snaking, right? Like at the end of the day, if you're playing against Skaven, you can't imagine they'll ever snake. I never bother putting, you know, marking a, a gutter runner or whatever, thinking, oh, he might snake. I'm 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 marking a gutter runner thinking maybe next turn I'll get to uh I'll get to punch him. But I'm not really thinking, you know, he's got any chance of failing the dodge. Unfortunately you can't really expect them to ever fail the dodge. Right, there's several ways to get this guy free. We'll see what he does. Didn't stand up all these players last turn, so you know that makes it a, things a little bit trickier. Could have stood them all up before that snake. I mean, by the same token, of course, if you're the Skaven player, you've got to imagine anything you do can snake, right? So you've got to do everything you can to avoid making a two plus roll when you are Skaven. But when you're playing against them, I don't prioritize forcing them to roll one in 36 chances. Uh, 
I know a few people who like say, oh, look, if you make them roll one in 36s, eventually they'll fail one or two, and it's like, it's so unreliable that I don't think that's a good strategy. Completely missed the ogre block first. It's good that it happened. <laughs> oh, the, the the delay chat is is a bit weird. I'm not used to this at all. Um, but yeah, it's just so there can be no accusations of any any funny business, you know, when it comes to the commentary. So this isn't quite how I would have done it, but it, it can still work, right? Uh, X, well, okay, so he, he should have chained this guy out, right? He should have chained this guy away, and then he could block him, and then this guy would have been free. I don't really like him having to dodge, right? But Okay. So at the moment this is just a 1D because of the guard. So he's going to have to dodge. Oh, no, he just dodges with a ball instead. And then he'll probably dodge this guy away, right? Like, yeah, that's... He's got a screen there. This guy can reach. This gutter can make a bunch of dodges. And, like, complete a screen somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, right? This gutter can go all the way to there. Oh, it's movement eight, of course, because I was thinking, why does it say that it isn't that? But of course, it's the greasy cleats. Fails the first fall plus dodge. He could have also come up here somehow, right? One, two. I don't know what he was doing that way, so no, that's probably the best. Oh, flip me. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, and GFI to hit. Sorry, rush. Rush, 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 rush. So three rushes, you can get two dice on the ball here. And then I guess hope for a ball into the crowd and a good scatter. Adds a dodge. Moving that guy there. But doesn't matter. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now he is getting to use his rerolls, um, but it's not good enough, and he is about to go down 2 0 on offense. Yes, everybody be nice. Thank you, Art. There will be some uh, World Cup nerves, I'm sure. So now, Zerpils has three rerolls, right? So this block is way better than dodging. Dodge is a 1 in 36 chance of failure, right? 2 plus with a reroll. This block has a 1 in 9 chance of failure. So if you reroll it, that's a 1 in 81 rather than a 1 in 9. So that is better. Um, you can't really, you know, get in three more players to help. So just have to block him. 
you can blitz and skull. No reason to try to. No real reason to try and stall. I mean, you could try and stall just because the, the humans can actually one turn right with a halfling. Um, he's appoed the KO, so there was a, there was also like denying the KO roll was a reason to stall. So he's got less reason to stall with that gun. He could still try to stall this. Like it's not crazy to stall, right? He could bring the the gutter runner here, and then if he pows, stall. See, so, so if he if he put it okay, he's just dodging with him. Giving himself a 1 in 36 chance of disaster. And then scores. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Right, so there is going to be the throw teammate chance with this halfling. But I still like just banging in there, really. Can you really be nice? <laughs> so two nil up for the Skaven. If, if the humans can score the one turn here, they can uh, they can vaguely be in with a hope and a prayer of turning it around. Or they could maybe, like, you know, chain the uh, catcher forward. The catcher chain is maybe higher odds. Depends how well it's done, though. trolling me there I think I was just explaining because there could be new players that's right there could be new players watching this right with it being the world championship um, so that's why I was trying to explain why the block was better than the dodge of course people who play like Artemis and I know that the block is better I was just trying most viewers will know that but I was just trying to explain on the off chance there was a new player, you know, like, this is the thing, right? Hopefully this World Cup, well, World Championship, will get new players into the game, right? And, uh, so that, that, that was, that was the point, you know? Hopefully, uh, hopefully that will, um, that could happen. I don't really understand this setup. He hasn't fielded his halfling <laughs> that he's taken to score a throw teammate, presumably. Hasn't even fielded him. And I, this catcher is in the wrong square, right? If you're blitzing this guy, you want, you want him here if you're blitzing this guy. But then if you're blitzing this guy, you're filling in the square here and blitzing him and pushing him up there. If you're blitzing this guy, then you want the catcher there. But what happens, you want somebody here for um, follow-up hits to try and get the chain push. So the idea here is you can you can blitz a player 
and push them into your own players to push your, your catcher forward three squares uh, by pushing them into your players, pushing them into more players and pushing him forward. Or, like this lineman here, could have been a halfling. And then maybe you can just throw the halfling and score that way. So it's good having the, the follow-up like chance, right? A second, a secondary way to score is pretty good. I don't think there's really any need to endanger anybody here. Oh, he might get the count. He might. No, he can't. He can't get the counter one score. Counter one turn score here. I, I would have just left the defence as it was. Honestly, it, I don't understand how he was going to score there. So I would certainly not have risked non linemen on the defence, like this guard player and the rat ogre and the gutter runner. I would not be risking these players getting blitzed and fouled and killed. Absolutely not. All of my adverts. Good. Good. Okay, so he doesn't hit the uh, gutter on there. He was trying for a one turn there, but oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is there a way to do this? He could block him. Which would push him, which would push him, which would push him. And then you blitz him, fill all these squares. Um, in fact, you don't need to fill all them, right? You can just push him to there. To there, then he can block him. Into there. Surely, surely, there's there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Fill in all these squares. Right, so guard comes in there, blocks him. He goes to there. Now you've got the catcher. He blitzes the catcher. So you need to fill in one, two, three squares. Four, five. And then the first push pushes him to there. And the second push pushes him to there. So you need to fill in five, six, seven squares. Four, five. Ah, oh, you don't really have enough players. Wait, do you not? You don't need to push. No, it's hard. There's maybe you can push him one square, and then this pushes him the second square. This guy can block to push him the second square. There's maybe a chance to score here. The problem, the problem that um, Zerpels has is he's already used three and a half minutes of of time bank. So, there is maybe a counter one turn. It's, it's difficult though, right? It's definitely difficult. Really difficult. Oh, thanks Christopher B for explaining. Oh, I see. I see. You put, added a joke to the explanation, Christopher B. But that is what happened. Yeah, that is actually what happened. Believe it or not, that is a truthful explanation of what happened. Um, there's surely a way here. Like it's hard because he's so far away, right? He's so far away is the problem. It definitely... I'm sure it starts with this guy blocking this guy and pushing him to there. And then if you blitz the first one... Yeah, you don't need to fill for the first one, right? You, you just needed two... Oh, he just needed four players. He totally could have done it. 
He totally could have done it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's messed this up, actually. He totally could have done it, by the way. I was thinking he had to fill in these three squares. He don't, doesn't. He just need to push him with the first one. Yeah, he really could have done it. No, 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 no. Because then the second one. Yeah, and then he gets the second one. He gets the second one. So he'd have had to fill in. He could have done, I'm sure he could have done a reverse one turn there. It was really hard, it was really hard. But I'm sure there was a reverse one turn there. Crazily. But it did not happen. I think the best way of doing it was not push it. The Rat Ogre just pushed the first one. And then the second one, he pushed the gutter. And then the lineman blocked to get the second push. So I think I think it was possible, but um, you know. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, okay. Artemis with the correct answer at two and up, he shouldn't have tried because of the timer. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the correct answer. But also, the other way of looking at it is you two and up. You might as well look for blood bowling immortality by scoring a reverse one turn in the first game of the world championship. You know, that's pretty good, isn't it? Eight thousand euros of prizes, and you score a reverse one turn. That would have been pretty amazing. So, um, I think that was completely reasonable to go for. I'm not sure that was an easy way, but, um, yeah. Well, I didn't see it, so there you go. What can I say? What, what the problem with Blood Bowl is, the problem with Blood Bowl is you do get, like, um, kind of tunnel vision a lot of the time right like you have an idea and then you can kind of obsess about that idea and be blinkered to other possibilities and I I was incapable of seeing a better player than the one that I thought of which I eventually rectified towards the end um, I think my play probably would have worked it probably did like five or six players but uh, Yep. Oh, he's got sprint. <laughs> he's got sprint. I thought he had sidestep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Damn you, Artemis. Okay, I thought he had sprint. I really, I sorry, I thought he had sidestep. I really thought he had sidestep. He's actually got sprint. Well, I disagree with sprint. I just assumed sidestep, I guess. I saw a yellow icon that looked like a man standing somewhere, but the sidestep's a foot, isn't it? Oh my goodness, what a fool I am. Hello, tree. Uh, yes, this is, uh, <laughs> this, the Skaven are indeed well on top. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's rough. I'm in the uh, I'm in the casting thing. If you want to join Tree, by the way. Oh. This is, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, yeah. Gets the push. And, uh, yep. Oh dear. Well, it's not over. <laughs> but... It's looking very, very 
very bad. The two minute delay is weird. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> the delay is funny. I mean, this is nearly over. I guess he's going to go for the uh, thrower pickup because it's in the rain. 75 percent rather than 67 percent if a good runner tries. He's got the ball. The humans have got a, a tough ask, haven't they? They've got a tough ask. Um, I guess there's a chance. You've just got to base everything, right? You've just got to base everything. Everything that you can. Hope that you get removals like blitz gutters. Blitz this gutter, maybe. The wrestle one. Base these. Base what you can't punch. Punch what you can. Base what you can't punch. Hope for the best. So this is defenseless guy. This is an okay punch. And it, it does the job of getting you onto the gutter. Like you're kind of over pursuing here is the problem, right? Like by, by moving your players here, they'll just two plus away and move up past you. But you just have to hope. You just have to hope for 1 in 36 fails now. <laughs> After saying it wasn't a strategy, <laughs> unfortunately now it is basically your only strategy. Again, you're hoping for more punches as well, right? You're hoping for dodge fails or punches to an early snake, stuff like this. Base the ball. Yep. Don't hate it. There's a 2 plus 2 minute delay. Oh. Well... That was a shame. So I like this turn from the humans. I thought it was a good turn. Maybe their best turn. Uh, he's done exactly what he had to do here, you know, absolutely, absolute desperation mode now for the humans. So, they face things, they've got the ball, guy on the ball, faced up what they could, and now at least, you know, make the humans roll some dice. Make the humans, they are the humans. Make the Skaven roll some dice. <laughs> he doesn't need to wrestle this. Just push him away.
I could draw squiggles on the screen. Is is squiggles on the screen something you would like? That could be done. So yeah, now we can dodge off the last two gutters. Wow, oh, he's rolled a lot of ones. But, uh, certainly making the re-rolls now at least. So he is kind of squeezed up the sideline there. He, he's got away from it. I think I would have, you know, tried to go a bit more central to give myself somewhere more to go. Um, like, I mean, like if you're if you're occupying this space, then they've got to defend a bit wider to stop you. Whereas now, because you've because you've pushed yourself up to this side, they've just got to stop here and here. Whereas if you're here, they've got to, like stop a lot more width. So I think now, oh, I would have actually out of them. I'd probably Olga Blitz, right? Get the Ogre on the ball. And then you're definitely forcing a dodge or a handoff or something. Um, yeah, this is good. This is honestly, this is a lot better from Slave Black Mage now. Uh, this desperation mode, trying to make something happen. Uh, yep. Yes, uh, two or four minutes ago from. <laughs> I don't know how this delay is working, unfortunately. Well, he's made the dodge, he's made the pow, and the ball's on the floor. So. There you go. I was not expecting that. And uh, it's worked out nearly well from the problem is everyone's activated, so he can't go and pick it up. Off with this guy, who makes all of the dice rolls and picks it up. <laughs> okay, three, four, two. Three, two, four. Everything worked. He's got the ball. Incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. There's been so many cars. I don't know what Dimmy's talking about cars. There's literally been zero cars. Is that a Dimmy joke? Maybe. Oh, leaving the ball carrier. In. Oh, okay, no, it was the mistakes. Uh, I was saying cards for calcium. Sorry. Sorry, I do apologize. I mean, this is still a bit dodgy for the rats, isn't it? One, one gutter can help. This one can I uh, two plus two plus? No, uh, not two plus three plus. So even that's not easy. This isn't an actually an easy solve here for this game. Oh my goodness, the uh, rat ogre! Not Kaz's. <laughs> Kaz's the carder. <laughs> Classic rat ogre. Apo comes in. <laughs> And, uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Flip me. 
uphill double pals <laughs> he's got strip right he's got strip so this didn't need a double pal but gets it anyway on the sideline and the ball bounce is in a tackle zone wowee <laughs> this is uh, turning into a great game, isn't it? I mean, it's still tough for Slade here, like 2-0 down. 2-0 down is really tough for him. Because even if things work out and he gets a touchdown in a couple of turns, it's still a mountain to climb, but... Uh... Oh, Skaven's got the ball. And then dodges. Does the dodge before the block. You know, chance just to end his turn there. But, uh, doesn't fail. Another uphill. And pushes him into the gutter. Okay. Well, we're going to have two dice on the ball here, probably. There's still a chance for Slade. Whew. The best big guy in the world. I must say I've never streamed with a delay before and it is weird. Even only two minutes, like Rick does a five minute for his poker streams, doesn't he? And uh, Yeah, this is... Very strange. Having a two minute delay. Gets the push. Follows. That blocks his path a little bit. And he's brought him in. Oh dear. That guy had to be the blitz, surely. To blitz the ball. Like he, had, he actually had to follow it because of the defensive assist. Oh my god, he gets a Kaz. So actually he did have to follow, but it did block his path a bit, like... Uh, did he have to stand this guy up? I don't know. He's just going to dodge. Hits him with block as well. Gets the pow. Oh, sideline. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> the catcher can get it. <laughs> Let me, oh, nope, the Blitz is getting it. And handing it off. Oh, he fails the catch. Useless human. Oh, I double won the catch. I like that, gave him more turns to get the extra score, right? That would have given him five turns to get the equalizer. Flip me. This is wild. Oh my god, Zerpils is out of is out of uh, bonus time. So his turn is liable to end at any point if things go wrong. I'll let you know. If he just has to think, he's already already twenty seconds in. Um so yeah, the fact that it auto times you out is absolutely brutal here. So this could lead to things happening. Shouldn't have wasted all that time on the fancy one turn, maybe. I didn't have a choice on the push because the time bank expired. Oh. <laughs> wow. What a great game this has been. No delays next time. It was, it was, honestly, it was, a, the, so the time delay was a bit of a panic. What happened was today there was a, uh, there was a chalice game where I could see people getting the wrong idea about things. People mentioned things and it's a tough call, right, between delays or, um, you know, not talking about potential plays. I'm not really sure which is better going forward. Wow, they've got to rolling all the dice. 
Yeah, needed another one. <laughs> oh, wow. Who is that? That was just a three plus, right? Yep. Needed to work. This guy's too far away, but he can dodge him around somewhere as a scoring threat. Flip me. Wildly entertaining first game. So this blitzer can hit. Three, four, five, six, seven. So a dodge and a GFI and this blitzer can hit the ball. First though, we'll uh, loan a blockless block with the uh, Olga. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Glorious smash to start it off. Will we see some safe moves? No. Obviously has to re-roll this. Has to re-roll this as well. Oh. Pushes. Just pushes. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, I was saying about the running out of time, it's a big occasion, right? You know, there is the, there's playoff nerves and then there's uh, world championship nerves. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of nerves when I play my game. So uh, I can, uh, I can appreciate people taking a little bit longer than they uh, normally would and should. This is pretty easy for the rats to escape from, right? They've got an instant 2D here. And then two plus out with the ball. Two plus out with him, two plus out with him. So they can they can uh, they can rescue this pretty easily. It's looking actually almost safe for them now. Oh wait, is my commentary delayed? from what's happening in the game? No. All oh, right, so delay the game and then the commentary's live. I I just I've never tried to delay a stream before this I just did the uh, I just did the default thing of like delaying the stream oh rolls a one has dodge and there we go that is uh, almost safe now yeah the top two from each group go through which is not looking like Slade Black Mage at this moment in time, but you never know. Might be able to turn it around in the other two. It was a heroic defense. Really, really, really close to making things happen on defense. This is still, <laughs> it's not so dodgy now. It's still alive though, right? They're, they're less alive. They really need to score really, really, really soon now, the humans. They have to sack the ball this turn. Oh, wow. So he could fill in this square here. This one, probably. Not not the one that was closer, because he's the catcher, right? So probably the lineman had to fill this. And then chain him forward. So he can punch him. And then that gives you the 2D on the ball. But then I would have wanted to score on the catcher this turn, right? That was a problem. So that's why I didn't like it. This catcher should have not... It, 
It should have not come in. It should have been a lineman making that fill so that he had this catcher here as the outlet because he really has to score this turn. I mean, maybe next turn, but realistically he has to score this turn. Because the rats are gone now. Chat is showing up. Wait. I mean, well, that's because it's on the stream, right? Like, the chat is showing up. The chat is showing up on the chat channel when you type it, right? But, um, it's t of course, it's turning up on the stream two minutes late because my stream is delayed by two minutes. Well, there you go. He was doing what he had to do. Yeah, it's commentary live, but delayed responding to things. Yeah, if the game state can be delayed, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if if we could watch the live game on delay. Yeah, I'm not sure that's possible. Like, if it's something, I is that something I could just do in OBS somehow? Maybe somebody could could delay it on OBS and then like stream it to me and then I could do it that way or something like that, right? That would absolutely be ideal to just commentate. Oh my god, he like glided there, didn't he? That bugged out and he just he just slid all, all the way forward. So yeah, that was it. He really had to score last turn. Um and he didn't get it, and this is looking like, very much like a 3-0 win. I've got no idea about pre-delay or post-delay. As far as OBS goes, it just has stream delay duration. That's it. Maybe we need an expert. Oh wow! He got it. He got. He got there. I was zoned out because I thought he had no chance. So I do apologise. He's uh, he's got there, but I mean it's still really easy. But it's not over, right? It's not over. It's still really easy for the rats, but it's. It's technically not over. I mean, it's pretty much over now because it, it's it's probably going to be a two-one win at least. And he fouled instead of tagging this guy. So now it's a two-D block on him for a push. And a wrestle blitz on him. Oh, dub skulls, will it be quads? No. Yes, moder moderate calling plays, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the delay um, for my stream. I feel like in Montpellier, you know, if there's Tree and Andy and I on every game, then we'll mainly be talking to each other, right? And it'll be more like a show, right? And, uh, but like my streams, interacting is more important, isn't it, right? I'm solo, like most of the, most of, the, most of these, I imagine I'll be solo, right? Um, I don't know how available uh, Andy and Tree are to join me on these. But, uh, they haven't they haven't filled in the Google Sheets yet. So at the moment they're all solo. <laughs> but I mean I assume I'm, I assume they'll join for some of them. But uh, 
then it's less bad, isn't it? Less bad the more people in the booth. Goldstacker thinks it's okay. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like, you know, there's there's a few people watching and they're not all talking, are they? So, I don't know, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It was, as I say, it was just a little bit last second because of the, the Chalice match today. You can think about it a bit more tomorrow and uh, think what to do. Um, as far as me playing, I'll be playing on Tuesday at 18 UTC. Very exciting. Yep. I mean, it's over now, it's near 3 now. It's a 3 0 match. Might as well just end the turn. Oh, the halfling is there, though. No, the halfling is there. It could be 3 1, and touchdown difference could matter. So, actually, he should spread this line out. To, uh, to protect against the halfling throw teammate because the touchdown difference could be could be a thing Legs and freezer tea, indeed. Gets the power here. There's a chance of the one turn. Oh, worst possible scatter. Literal worst possible scatter there for the one turn. <laughs> and he fails the dodge in, and that is it. A 3-0 win for Zerpils. So he will go top of Group D. Congratulations to him. Commiserations, Slade Black Mage. Uh, that was a wild match. Great match to start off the tournament. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.